Say congratulations, Lee, on a very commendable softball effort. Um, Lee, um, Gig and I, we all love you. Speaking for many people, you're very, uh, you're the um, consummate filmmaker, very passionate. If, if I may just take a little bit of your time, um, because we know you, you love making films and you continue making films. Uh, um, could you share with us a little bit about your next project? I have this question. Uh, this I'm, <laughs> I'm actually uh, um, uh, just in the process of uh, doing rewrites for my new screenplay, um, and it's called Singapore Cowboy. Um, and it's inspired by the life of Matthew Khan, um, who uh, <laughs> he's the first Asian man um, to ever actually sing in the Grand Ole Opry. Um, I think a lot of Singaporeans don't know what the Grand Ole Opry is, but perhaps uh, my American friend Drayton can explain. What is the Grand Ole Opry, Drayton? Oh God, I'm honest. Um, it is a. Uh, it's in the country western heart of America. It's, it's like a, a landmark of uh, all the biggest acts in that genre perform every night. Yeah. And it's it's international. Music, yeah, yeah, Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> um, and um, so, uh, uh, and it's basically about this man who wants to be uh, the world's first Asian country singer yeah. star, and his family. Yeah. Uh, what stage of the process is? Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm just, you know, uh, uh, polishing up the script and showing it to people, you know. Um, I, I, oh, over there, over there. Oliver Stone likes it. Just Oliver Stone it. likes it. Wow. Yeah. That's a good start. Uh, he, he's, he's our artistic director of Tish Asia, right. and um, he there was a crit session and he got to crit um, some screen plays and. Yeah. So the uh, has it been casted or are um, you still I'm hoping I have someone in mind to play the lead. I'm hoping for actually Adrian Pang to play the lead. Uh, the character, I think the character younger, I mean the character 50. Uh, uh, well, Matthew in actuality is in the 60s. Yeah. Uh, so I mean the character just pushing 50 and it's a sort of almost a crisis because he um, has left the country singing life behind and he's actually now a property agent. That's obviously something we've never seen uh, coming from Singapore filmmaker and definitely looking forward to it. Thanks, thanks very much. I yeah, hope, hope uh, Uniform will invest in it and distribute it. Yeah, yeah the fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. We, we do what we can. Okay, so uh, that's, we have asked about what's Lily's next project. What about Joanna? Like, are, are you on stage now or are you going to be um, making your next on screen appearance? The most immediate project singing in a review of Mandarin, uh, Mandarin musical theatre songs. This is with a theatre practice, so it's coming up uh, in end of August. What was the name of the show? It's called Tell Tale Sing Songs. They wanted to call it Top Cow Sing Song, but they thought it was a little bit, uh, you know, a bit hard to market and politically incorrect to put print on the media. So it's called Tell Tale Sing Songs. It, in Chinese, it's called Chang Si. So because I have been involved in a couple of Mandarin Productions will be performing uh, the original Singaporean written works uh, and pre presenting them in a concert manner. Yeah. So yeah. that's the next one. And then, uh, meanwhile, I'm also working on my Mandarin jazz album. Ooh. So going back to singing, which uh, is my comfort zone, but uh, it's nice to it's nice to be where I feel I really you know know what I'm doing. <laughs> in the film, I'm like, oh, help me, help me, you know. So. Uh, it's, it's nice, but uh, as Sylvia mentioned, funding grows difficult, so <laughs> yeah, you know, there are potential investors here. Yeah. Very welcome to come and speak to me about it. Incidentally, last night I just performed with Matthew at the Mandarin's, and I had I didn't draw the connection that he was the one that Lynn was Lynn's musical to be about. And I heard him sing Singapore Cowboy Live last night. Oh, yeah, it's it's a song for Singapore Cowboy. Cowboy. Yeah, he wrote it. Yeah. And it didn't occur to me till then that, oh, you know, that the new film will be about this man that I was performing with. So it was, it's really, it, yeah, I think it's really, you know, very interesting how the universe sort of just, yeah, just together. converges people that way. Small world. Okay, just, just on this note, uh, anybody else you'd like to, you know, leave a comment or have a question to ask? Anybody else? Okay, if not, I uh, oh, will talk about Liz and Jen and Joanna. So, obviously, we know Sylvia's so next baby, next project, but not so professionally. Yeah, yeah. Well, professionally, after that. Yeah, so we're back in the Yeah. 
uh, any intention to go into other realms, like even directing maybe? Well, all the best to you, and I think your baby is due any time <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but really all the best, and I'm sure we'll be in touch. Yeah. Okay, and uh, if there's uh, uh, no other questions, no other comments, I think without further ado, we're going to start the autograph session. We'll probably do it here. But let's join me in thanking Lilin. <laughs> to be my first year, and to have a great show with my friend. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, so the, uh, for those of you with the DVD,